It's all right. We're fine, ain't we? Okay, okay. There, there, girl. Easy there. Yeah, I know. Good girl. Let's go, girl. I told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time. Leave me alone. Or what? Ah! Ah! What was that? <sighs> Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you. Get out of here. On Marston. It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You, you kill a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> She was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy us a property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? 
Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff, good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. <coughs> oh, well, it's legal. I'm um, usually. Then, maybe. Come on, then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Come on, we got a bit of a ride. I know. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't yeah. think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him. I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Ah, we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I got Uncle with me. We'll be okay. Uncle? Well, getting a scout by that gang out there might be preferable than living with him. Sometimes I think the same. Kirk, banker, bald, 45. Okay. You hit up that way. I'll meet you in a bit. Hey, I, I've been a real fool and forgot to ask my friend Nathan Kirk where he's staying. You got any idea? He's a bald feller from New York. I'm sorry, I don't know. You seen a... You seen a bald New Yorker? Name of Nathan Kirk, about 45? No, sir. If we get plenty of New Yorkers here. It's resort town, you see. The Adirondacks of the West, the mayor calls it. But <laughs> I can't remember any of the bastards. Okay. Ask in the general store or the post office. They tend to know who's in residence for the season, as we say. Season? Good lord. Excuse me, friend. I'm looking for a Nathan Kirk, fellow from New York. Got any mail for him? Kirk? Kirk. No, not so as I would remember. Curly, I think. Oh, she's a woman. <laughs> Ask in the Welcome Center. Most tourists check in there. Okay, thank you. What now? Easy enough. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? Just a friend! Stop! Hey! 
That's Nathan Kirk! Oh! Got him? Oh, shut up! Come on, jump Whoa. on! I know! You got there. I don't deserve this treatment. Wish I had some good news for you. Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a, is a desperate woman. How, how you married, sir? None of your business what I am. She made me do it. She. Hey! Quiet now! Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Send it on my behalf to West Elizabeth Cooperative Bank in Blackwater. Pay down my loans. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so... I'll come find you.
You're a good filly. Working hard? <clears throat> it's the lumbago. Now, if I overdo it, I I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. Oh, you can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> get up! Ow! I I I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I went into town, and oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to San Denis. Charles! Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither.
Here we are. Come on, let's get off. All right. Yeah. <sighs> Back in Saint Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Well, me neither. <sighs> All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. <sighs> let's split up. Take the slums. Nah, how about I take the saloons and you take the slums? Hello. Hello? Hey, partner. You seen a big Indian guy? Indian? <laughs> sure. I've seen hundreds. A big guy. Boxer, maybe? Likes fighting? Yeah. Yeah. Bare knuckle guy. Think he's he's fighting tonight over at St. Saturnine's. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem, bud. Just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> Asked that first barman I met, and he told me Folks Charles was here. A surprise, <laughs> but the Not one of life's great mysteries. And turns you out. are a killer. We both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of. Just... I don't know. I... 
I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So? So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you. An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not-so-noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Injun Hercules. The savage, the untamable. The unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, Lone Wolf! You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. <laughs> so it goes. It's your share, partner. If we just made the bed, I said we So you keen on staying around here and heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few urns of room. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. This way. Uh, my bag. It's only a short walk. Come on. Sooner we get out of San Denis, John. What do you think? Or it's against And we need to get out of here. Come on. Sooner we get out of San Denis, John. So, where was I? Uh, my bag's on the dockside. So, what happened? 
You mean back then? Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You, you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel, with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Rattle him or... or give him some kind of understanding. What his life was really all about. Yeah. That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but... One thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since... Well... That time. Nor me. And Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sisica. They picked up Strauss. The agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened, all those deaths, Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem, if it wasn't for... How you been? Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh... He used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey. Uh, Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. Oh, oh. You couldn't have thrown that! Right. It's never just one fight. Evidently! Yeah, There's a wagon up there. I'll get my bag. Okay. Come on, John. I'll drive. Hey okay. Where was Uncle gonna meet us? Over the bridge going out of town. West. Hold on. You see any law? Not yet. Keep your eye out. Sand and me ain't short on police. I remember that. Only too well. Anyone? Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, better chance we have. Of denying it, at least. No. We can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? <sighs> I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate Saint Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple... John! Carl! <laughs> you boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs>
Feels like old times. <laughs> it's good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. There he goes. What'd I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired $2 whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now, you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't going to change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail, I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house so the lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> we good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. OK. On me. That's <laughs> it. That's it. <laughs> See? I told you it wouldn't be no trouble. And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? Uh, there's a fellow by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's going to tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. Come on, lady.
We've got you now, you piece of shit! I want his skill! Get him! He shall die! But his body will dance! Oh, Hello, Sadie. Oh, John. <laughs> Come sit down. Sure. You, uh, got any work? Yeah. Well, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. Same as most people. I guess. Funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murderer, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a... Bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob him back. Is the money good? Yeah, it's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now, come on.